What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. Z1. We are hopping back into some more Subnautica, and we got a message to read or to listen to. Let's go ahead and do that. Drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Uh oh, the Aurora is gonna blow. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to the message. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so it looks like we have another location to go check out. Life Pod 19, where are you? Okay, this looks like it's 300 meters down. So, that might be a little bit of an issue for us. So, I think maybe we should focus on making the Seamoth first. So, in order to make the Seamoth, we need to also make the... We need some water. Water fish, get back here. Okay, we also need to make the habitat builder. And I completely forgot since last time what we need to make that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like we need a battery, a wiring kit, and a computer chip. Okay, so I know the wiring kit, we're gonna need some more silver. What do we need for that computer chip? Table coral, gold, and copper wire. Okay, that's right, we need some more gold. Let's go ahead and see if we can put in some more things in here. Um, what the heck was I doing with the creep vine clusters? I don't know. Maybe we should convert them into something first. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we should make some storage containers. Let's make a waterproof locker. Because we are running out of room. Okay, so I know we needed a few things for the sea moth as well. I think we needed a titanium ingot as well as a power cell. And I already got those going. Um, okay, so let's get out of here. And let's drop off this thing. So now we can put in some of our stuff in here. Okay, let's take a look real fast. What did we need for that sea moth? Oh, I think all we need extra was glass. I don't think we have enough quartz. So we need to get quartz. We need to get gold. We have just so much things that we need to get. And we need more silver too. Can't forget about silver. Silver, gold, quartz. I guess we shall uh, go around and try and find stuff. Okay, so I just found our last beacon fragment that we needed. And I think I have enough quartz now to make the glass. I think we're still just missing the gold and silver. And it looks like we have another, uh, another radio transmission. So let's go ahead and let's start making that glass because once we make the glass, we should be able to make the sea moth. And I got the stuff that we can now make bleach. So bleach now we can make the disinfected water. And purifying water. Okay, that is so much better. Okay, let's see first. I think we have enough for the sea moth. Oh my goodness, we do. It's dark outside though, so I'm just going to wait until it gets lighter outside and then we will start making sea moth. Okay, it is now light outside. Let's go ahead and use the mobile vehicle bay and let's construct a sea moth. Safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's go park this over by our life pod for right now. I kind of feel like maybe we should make another power cell at least. 
before we go out in adventure and maybe make another battery or two. Okay, we did it. We have an extra battery and I have an extra power cell, so we should be good. And it turned light like not too long ago. So I'm thinking maybe go ahead over here. Oh, you know what I just realized? We can only go 200 meters down in here. And this is 300 meters down. Oh, maybe we shouldn't go there right now. Maybe we should wait till we make the... Ouch. Maybe we should wait until we make the... Habitat Builder and get some upgrades for this thing. But we do have another message, so let's take a look at that. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, we definitely still need help. <laughs> Okay, we need to find that silver and we need to find that gold. I guess I'll just continue looking for stuff. I found gold. Now all we're looking for is some silver. Collecting other things along the way though. Okay, so it looks like the detonation is going to occur in two hours on the Aurora. We are... Oh, I just found another silver. We might have enough now to make the habitat builder. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. Okay, I think we should have enough silver, enough gold, enough all of that. So now we should be able to make the habitat builder. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we just got a new blueprint for an advanced wiring kit, but we should be able to make the habitat builder now. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, I think we're gonna build our area like right around here. So let's see, what can we start? Oh, we don't even have a multi-purpose room unlocked yet oh my goodness okay so we might actually have to swim over there and go down the extra 100 meters darn it i wonder if that's where we gotta where we're gonna have to scan to unlock that area the multi-purpose room i don't know darn it this just ruined my plans and i know we're gonna have to go to the aurora sometime soon as well I just don't think I'm ready for that quite yet. <laughs> okay, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to wait till the morning time. And then as soon as it gets morning, we'll start heading down over there. And we will go to LifePod 19, do the scanny things. And yeah. Oh, and we have another radio transmission. Let's go see what that's about. Pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, so now we have life pod six and it looks like we have another message. So let's go ahead and listen to that one as well. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? 
The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I flew. <laughs> Okay, so how far away is Life Pod 6? That's 19. Do we have a beacon for 6? No. Okay, guys, it's starting to look a little bit lighter outside. So while it was dark, while you guys were not around, I went ahead and made another locker because I was running out of room again. So I think we are ready to go. We are going to take this this away. I just realized that I, oh, no, 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 no. Don't drop that. I never repaired this because we hit a fish. So we are good to go now. We're going to head over here to life pod 19 and see if maybe we can get something good to scan. See if we can do some more things to further our progression. I feel like I didn't go this far in the beginning last time. And I'm pretty sure there's like a reaper or something over here. Maybe we should head back. Maybe I need to do some more things before we go do that. I really need to find the multi-purpose room. Okay, so I just realized that... The multi-purpose room is in the, the like floating island thing, I think. One of those like land ones we need to go check out. So maybe we should head over that way. I don't go in the wrong way to do that. Let's see. You know what? First, let's make a compass. Okay, compass has been made. Okay, I just feel like I think there's some baddies over that way. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments because I'm pretty sure there is. Um, okay, I think we're going to this cloud. Like what's beyond that cloud right there. Okay, let's do it. Let's head on over there. We're gonna find some stuff. Uh-oh. We're missing it. There's a detonation. The quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach okay. a critical state. 18 minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh no, that does not look good, guys. That does not look good at all. Oh, we just got the radiation suit. Okay, maybe we should wait on this. We're gonna wait. Let's go take this back over to where our pod is and let's go see what we can make, what we need to make the radiation suit. Oh, all we need is fiber mesh. How did we make fiber mesh again? Creep vine samples. Do we have those still? Oh, we do. Oh, we need one more fiber mesh. Okay, we need some more creep vine samples. Then we can make the radiation suit. Okay, we only needed two and I got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's make the radiation suit and then we can go to some more things and do some more stuff. And we won't have to worry about our radiation that much anymore. Oh, we are making the radiation suit. Oh my goodness, it is made. We have it. This is perfect. Now... We shouldn't be hurt by the radiation anymore, which I don't think that was really an issue for us quite yet, but it's going to, it was going to be. So 
We did good. But that's going to go ahead and end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. Make sure you leave your tips and tricks down below. Very much appreciated. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as well. Next time, we will be heading over this way. So that we can get the multi-purpose room so we can start making a base. And then let me know down in the comments. What about this location? I'm pretty sure there's a baddie down there. Uh, and I don't know if we're quite ready for that. Should we be more focused on going to the Aurora next? Should we just be exploring, waiting for the Sunbeam to call us? What is your guys' advice? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to uh, join the Discord server. Always a fun time. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.